If you are in VFX, game development or creating 3D scenes, this new AI model is for you. I wouldn't be surprised to see this model or similar approaches in your creation pipeline very shortly, allowing you to spend much less time, money and effort on making 3D models. Just look at that. Of course it's not perfect, but that was done instantly with a casual video taken from a phone. It didn't need an expensive multi-camera setup or complex depth sensors. One of the beauties behind AI making complex and costly technologies available for startups or single individuals to create projects with professional quality results. Just film an object and transform it into a model you can import right away. You can then fine tune the details if you are not satisfied, but the whole model will be there within a few seconds. What you've been seeing are the results from an AI model called Banmo recently shared at the CVPR event I attended. I'll be honest, they got my attention because of the cats. Still, it wasn't completely clickbait. The paper and approach are actually pretty awesome. It isn't like the other nerf approach to reconstructing objects in 3D models. Banmo tackles a task we call Articulated 3D Shape Reconstruction, which means it works with videos and pictures to model deformable objects. And what's more deformable than a cat? And what's even cooler than seeing the results is understanding how it works. The model starts with a few casually taken videos of the object you want to capture, showing how it moves and deforms itself. That's where you want to send a video of your cat slurping into a vase. Banmo takes those videos to create then what they refer to as a canonical space. This initial result will give you information about the object's shape, appearance and articulations. It's the model's understanding of your object's shape, how it moves through space and where it belongs between a brick and a blob, described by those big balls and various colors. It then takes this 3D representation and applies any pose you want, simulating the cat's behavior and articulations as close to reality as possible. Seems like magic, doesn't it? That's because we are not done here. We quickly went from a video to the model, but this is where it becomes interesting. So what do they use to go from images of a video to such a representation in this canonical space? You guessed it, a Nerf-like model. If you are not familiar with this approach, I strongly invite you to watch one of the many videos I made covering them and come back for the rest. In short, the nerf inspired method will have to predict three essential properties for each three-dimensional pixel or voxels of the object, as you see here, color, density and a canonical embedding using a neural network trained for that. To achieve a 3D model with realistic articulations and movement, Banmo uses the camera's spatial location and multiple frames to understand the ray from which it is filming, allowing it to reconstruct and improve the 3D model iteratively through all frames of the videos. Similar to what we will do to understand an object, move it around and look at it in all directions. This part is done automatically by observing the videos, thanks to the canonical embedding we just mentioned. This embedding will contain all necessary features of each part of the object to allow you to query with a new desired position for the object and forcing a coherent reconstruction given observations. It will basically map the wanted position from the picture up to the 3D model with the correct viewpoints and lighting conditions and provide cues for the needed shape and articulations. One last thing to mention is our colors. Those colors represent the cat's body attributes shared in the different videos and images we used. This is the feature we will learn and look at to take valuable information from all videos and merge them in the same 3D model to improve our results. And voila! You end up with this beautiful 3D deformable colory cat you can use in your applications. Of course, this was just an overview of Banmo, and I invite you to read the paper for a deeper understanding of the model. You should definitely subscribe to the channel if this kind of AI news interests you, as I'm sharing similar exciting approaches every week. Thank you for watching until the end, and I will see you next week with another amazing paper.